as we are going to discuss about computer networks. So, as we know that in today's modern life, uh, the network is a major role. So, we are, we are going to learn the basics of uh, computer networks. Computer network it is nothing but it connects two or more autonomous computers. The term computers can be geographically located anywhere. The classification of uh, computer networks is uh, classified depending upon the geographical distance. It is classified into three types, LAN, MAN and WAN. LAN is nothing but local area network, MAN is metropolitan network or medium access network and WAN is wide area network. As we know that network in small geographical area, it can be uh, maintained by the local area network. So, in the local area network, it is maintained in a city or within a college campus or maximum distance of 2 kilometers, we can maintain the local area networks. In order to enhance the LAN network, we can use the repeaters. So, network geographically, if it is a, uh, extended, then we can go for MAN and WAN. So, depending on the applications of network, it is used in many places. That is mainly it is used in resource sharing, information sharing, communication, remote computing, distributed processing. In all these areas, it is mainly used. So, networks are classified depending upon the size as well as it is uh, represented by using the pattern also. So, network is considered as a topology. So, topology is not, nothing but it is a pattern we maintain how the systems are arranged in the network. So, there are so many types of network uh, topologies are there. Basically, we follow the bus topology, ring topology, star topology and then mesh topology. So, all these topologies are used in the local air network and wide area network we use the satellite communication and bus topology. So, in the there are so many advantages and disadvantages of bus topology. Bus topology is nothing but there is a common cable or bus is used. Into that uh, many systems are connected. It is easy to connect and easy to remove. It is the advantage of bus topology and the disadvantage is that uh, number of systems, if you enhance, there will be network failures. Then we have the star and tree topology. Star topology is nothing but it resembles star shape, where we have a centralized uh, uh, unit to that all other systems are connected. If the centralized units get damaged, then the whole network is damaged. That is, it cannot be, it has to be replaced. That is a disadvantage. Advantage in the sense, it is easy to connect and easy to remove the systems in the network. And the tree topology, we maintain the uh, levels there. So, the, it is also a combination of star topology. Then we have a ring topology. The ring topology, we maintain the ring shape where the uh, systems can be added or it can be removed easily. If any one system is uh, not working, then the adjacent systems will be connected. That is the advantage of ring topology. Then we have a mesh topology where the systems are connected and every node will have the connectivity to the other node. That is a major advantage of mesh topology. This topology is used when the uh, network is having a huge size. Number of systems are more, in that case we use the mesh topology. What are the different components of network? So, in order to design the network, we need these components. The first one is physical media, then the inter interconnecting devices, then the computers, then we need a networking software and then where we are going to use the network, all those things that we needed. And then uh, network is classified again in terms of transmission media. Depending on the network, we change the transmission media. So, transmission media is nothing but through which you are going to send the data or the receive the data. So, basically we classify the network media into three types that is shielded and unshielded media. So, here we are have the uh, uh, coaxial cable where we have the structure outer jacket, inner jacket, then we have a mesh like structure, then the innermost cable. We have many types of uh, network media that is twisted pair, coaxial cable, fiber optics. All these are the guided medias and used in the LAN networks. Then WAN network we use the fiber optics since the fiber optics can be run through the oceans. So, it is connected globally and it is having the highest data transfer speed. So, we go with the fiber optics and since it is uh, uh, a little bit costlier than twisted pair and coaxial cable, we prefer fiber optics since the damages are very limited in fiber optics. Then next comes with the devices, network devices. What are the networking devices? We have many devices that is hub, switches, routers, then we have the access points, modems and all. 
as we know that these are the basic points where switches are used to connect two different switching uh, systems. Routers are used in the uh, uh, routing methodology in order to get the optimal path to the destination. There we are using the routers and then we have the wireless access points we have. Then we have modems. Modem is nothing but modulation and demodulation. It is used to connect the internet with the system. In the network we need the modems to interact with the systems. So, these are the basic uh, components which we need in the networking. And then we come to know the what do you mean by client server model. So, clients there are many clients we have and then we have a server. So, all the clients will communicate through the server, the server will satisfy the request of the client. So, our, all the networking model works on the client server model. So, here it is query request and reply methodology we follow here. Then we have the networking protocol. So, depending on the type of the network your protocol changes. So, we use the TCP IP protocol for the internet network or WAN network. So, TCP is nothing but transmission control protocol and IP is internet protocol. So, these two are the basic protocol. Apart from that we have many other protocols which is used to do the internet work. For example, ICMP internet control message protocol it is used to send error messages. Then we have SNMP simple network management protocol may used to maintain the network. Then we have SMPS mail transfer protocol. Then we have FTP file transfer protocol, HTTP hypertext transfer protocol like that each and every work is done by the protocols in the WAN network. And uh, apart from this where we are using in many places the computer networks are used here. So, it is mainly used for mailing that is email, then for searching the data, then it is used in e-commerce, news groups and then it is used in the uh, video conferencing, chat groups, then we are using as a messengers okay, and it is also used in the internet radios also. So, computer network has a vast uh, applications in the, uh, in the field of internet. So, along with the protocols it is uh, used to benefit the person who are using the network. Mainly email is a low cost compared with the other communication media. So, uh, today in modern uh, this one we are uh, using so many social medias all these are works on the WAN network. So, these are the basics of our computer network and the, these are the references you can uh, refer for the today's class. Thank you.